Hi guys, I'm going to do a series of videos on the Caliber eBook Management Program. This thing is wonderful. I've been using it for years. Um, if you're an avid reader and you have a lot of um, EPUB books or PDFs that you read on your devices and stuff, this is the best place to organize it. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is, I had it, I just uninstalled it, we're going to try to, to start from scratch here. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to download it, and we're going to just go here, download Caliber. And I am using Windows. If you're using Mac, obviously Mac, Linux, but I'm using Windows. So now I'm going to download Caliber. Okay, so now that we've downloaded it, we're going to click it. Accept the terms and install. Click yes. And we're going to launch it. So just click finish. It may take just a couple seconds to fire it up. All right, so I already have an existing library in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new library. So you go up here to Caliber Library, Switch or Create Library. I'm going to create an empty library. And I'm going to choose one I made. So as you can see, it's empty. Click Select Folder and OK. So this is one cool thing is that you can have multiple libraries and you know you can have one for yourself, you can have one for your kids, you can you can do whatever you want with it. <clears throat> now, once you fire up your library, um, one of the main things you're going to want to do is get books. So I was going to do this in a separate video, but I might as well do it now because it's very, very simple. Now, there are a few ways that you can add books to your library. And one of them is to go here to add books. And then wherever you keep your books on your live, like basically on your computer, you can go and find them. Now you can use EPUBs, you can use Mobis, or you can use PDFs. And um, for example, if you if you find a, a free PDF book out there that you really want, you can add it to your library. But if you're if you have like a Kobo, which uses EPUB as opposed to well, you can I think you can use PDF probably, but e, basically if, I use EPUB all the time. If you have a Kindle, I think it's Moby. But anyways, you can convert in here as well, which I will show you in a later video. But for now, I'm just going to add this EPUB book. As you can see, it's adding it, and it's reading the meta. Now, as it's just the EPUB, lots of times it's missing some stuff. It's missing the cover, and it's missing the metadata that goes with it. As you can tell over here, because I've highlighted it here, it brings it up over here. Now, what we want to do is we want to add metadata. I know with me, I like having information about the book. I like being able to read a synopsis of it. I like seeing the covers. Because when you load it into, um, for example, um, Moon Plus in, on Android devices to read it, or if you have a Kobo, or if you have a, a Kindle, you want the artwork that goes with it. You want to, you want to see the, the, the book cover. So how you do that is you go to Edit Metadata. As you can see up here, there's all the information you need. Like sometimes it'll be missing stuff and you can either add it yourself or you can go to metadata and it'll help you add it. So you go down here to download metadata. What's going to happen is it's going to bring you up a big list of stuff, pulling from Google, pulling from Amazon. And you can pick and choose what you want to use. So for example, this has a really nice synopsis to it. So we're going to pick that one. You can choose any of these. See, they're all different. Some of them may be blank though, which you may not want. But for me, I'm just going to pick the first one for now. And when it says has cover, that's always a good thing. So you click OK. And now the covers will pop up. You can pick and choose whatever ones you want. I like to have really nice clear covers, so I usually go with the ones that are a little bit bigger. But um, these ones still look nice. So you choose your cover, and you click OK. Now, as you can see, 
um, it's filled in here and it's filled in all the the information about the book uh, you can rate it yourself if you want you can download a, just the cover if you want or you can generate a cover sometimes um, some books won't have covers so you can make your own they're not as pretty obviously but you can click around till you find one you like and you can use that I myself prefer the original one I had so you can always just click download cover again go back to here and click OK. Then you click OK down here. And as you can see, you now have the cover and you now have um, all the information about the book. Uh, it tells you the format and you can also click to open the path, which will take you right to your live, like wherever you stored it. Okay, so another way now, so that's one way to add books. You can add your own. Another way is they also give you access to multiple websites where you can get books and most of them are paid like it'll be through Kindle or it'll be through Google or Amazon but sometimes you can get books that are free so especially if it's older books so for example if I'm looking for the book Dune which I really like you can un oh by the way I've unclicked some of these the stores some of these don't apply to me so I didn't I unclick them so it's a faster search that way then you just click search So give it a minute or two to load up all of them. And then you can see that some of them are uh, DRM protected and some of them aren't. Some of them that aren't still may cost money though. So you need to have a look. And as you can see, they kind of have a category here that says price. Um, the ones that are free usually will just say zero so you know better. So if you scroll down, you can see Archive has... Um, it's DRM free and it's free so if you want this book just double click and choose the format you want now I want EPUB and click OK so the the book Dune will be downloaded and added to your caliber library automatically click OK and then you can just close this it takes a second to generate as you can see it says jobs one down here job zero now and there's Dune so you've got this free book. Now, once again, it's missing some information. It's missing the author, the rating. You don't need all this stuff, but I like all this stuff. So all you do to fix that is go to Edit Metadata again. Go to Download Metadata. Now, I know the author of this. So I'm going to watch for him because sometimes there will be other books with the same name or names that have Dune in them, and it will show you all the authors for that as well. But right here, Frank Herbert, that's the author of Dune that I'm looking for. So you just click OK. And then you can wait for your cover. I actually like this cover, so I'm going to keep that. And once again, click OK. And you'll notice that uh, up here it had said unknown uh, for the author, and now it's filled it in for you. So just click OK. And you can see it's filled in the information. You have your meta and you have your cover. So that is how you add books to your Caliber library. So I'm going to be making some more videos in the next little bit and um, you'll be able to tell obviously by the names of them what they do. But for now that gives you just a quick overall view of how to download it, how to start a library, and how to add books to your library. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.